Why are they picking on us? Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the heart of London. Thank you for joining me today. That is one of your big breaking royal stories coming out of London today. Let me give you a little bit of background onto this because it does appear that, you know, the former royals don't seem to understand the PR game, which is a bit of a shocker really when you think because Meghan Markle did enjoy a brief stint in some minor success, of course, with the cable TV series Suits, and she has worked in and around Hollywood most of her adult life. So she must understand the way that the publicity machine works. And as for Prince Harry, you do kind of think, well, you've been in the royal family all of your life. Of course, you've had press officers, press assistants, everything around you. So again, you must understand exactly how that format works. But here's what's been fed back via the ex-royals. One of the issues that they have is they can't understand why they receive such bad press. And when you think it is relentless, now a lot of people here comment about my reports in London and say that I'm continually bashing them. That's not true. I present both sides of the argument and of course I let you decide which one you agree with. That's the comments. That's the idea of the channel moving forward. Now I don't really say whether I like or agree with either because that's not my job. That's what mainstream media does. They won't tell you the truth. Here on this channel, we try to present a fair and balanced review. But if you take it from Harry and Meghan's point of view, this truly is their argument. They don't understand why, for instance, by doing the Oprah Winfrey interview way back in March, they've created such bad publicity. What's been told to me is that, well, you know, Prince Andrew did that infamous Newsnight interview. Princess Diana sat down famously with Martin Bashir and so did, of course, His Royal Highness Prince Charles with Jonathan Dimbleby. So you can understand, you know, they're thinking, well, they aired their dirty laundry in public, royal laundry, and then lots not forget, of course, we have, oh wow, how could we forget, the Duchess of York, who sat down with Oprah Winfrey herself and done numerous interviews across Australia and around the world, all detailing her hardship about being in the royal family. But the bigger problem that I see for Harry and Meghan is this. They don't understand that their revelations were far more damaging to the monarchy simply because the statements that they claim that they were cut off financially, that she had a passport taken away, that there was a racist within the family, which was alluded to, but of course never revealed. They are far more damaging than really what Princess Diana did, Prince Charles and, dare I say, even Prince Andrew. Prince Andrew, for all of his faults, just came away looking stupid really let's be honest why would you sit down and reveal so many things so it remains to be seen whether they actually get the grip of the fact that the reason why people have seen a steady decline in their popularity is simply because of what they said worldwide on international television to Oprah Winfrey until they grasp that I don't really see the royals climbing back in any popularity certainly over here in the United Kingdom Neil Sean in the heart of London.